We love black girls. So, four years old, I wanted to learn how to swim. I begged my parents, please let me take swimming lessons, let me do it. They said, no, you're too little, you're too young, way too older. So then one day, my little cousin, who was three at the time, fell into the pool at the other side. And not even thinking, I jumped into the water, doggy pedaled my little way over to her, heard my aunt screaming and wailing in the background, and I pulled her to the side of the pool. So from that moment, I became known to my family as the girl who taught herself how to swim. And I use that story because it's parallel to my career because each step that I've taken, I've either been the only black person, the only woman, and, and in this case, um, I am a black woman that works in tech here in San Francisco. Right now in the Silicon Valley in the tech industry, you only have 5% of people of color who are founders. And in many companies that are popular on Facebook to Google to LinkedIn, you only have 1% who are uh, people of color that work in tech. So that's one sense of urgency. You have these fields where there is a great need for employment. Um, but yet we don't have enough people who know how to do the job. I believe that if you empower a girl, you have the potential to change her community and to change her future. And when you teach her the skills and you give her the tools and the technology to share that story, you have the opportunity to change the world. Today we built our Lego robot called Bella, but my team called it Isabella. And we learned how to use the computer to program it and um, show it what ways to go, like what direction, and it always said, it says stuff. It's like it says, hooray, hooray, thank you, and goodbye. Um, I liked how we got to um, work on computers and we got to actually build the robot. It's pretty awesome. women of color in engineering, I think that strides have been made, but there's still this enormous gap in terms of having women, and especially women of color, in the field of engineering. And I say engineering in general because there are inner like subcategories of engineering, but across the board, there are few women of color in positions of authority, in in the field in general. My name is Amalju. I'm doing a PhD here in Computer Science and Education with Alice's group, and I'm almost done with my PhD. Two summers ago, <laughs> two summers ago, I taught a middle school computer science class at Stanford University for middle schoolers. And in that class, we actually had the students on a whim design robotics. Excellent. So it's the same exact, you see, it's the same exact Similar, similar robot that you're using in here. So you guys have actually learned some of the things that we'll take to build as an aspect of this. And our hope is that as you guys have hands-on project work that Black Girls Code is creating for you, you get a more intuitive sense of what you can actually do with computation. I think for the first time, these girls are beginning to see that, oh, I can do this too. I think that's literally what it is, like, oh, there's a space for me here, and oh, I can actually do this, and this is fun. I want to do this. Mm -hmm. To me, I think that's probably the core of Black Girls too. And I think more importantly, not just the girls, the parents. The parents are beginning to understand that this is important, that their daughters love it, and they want to empower their daughters to be ready for the 21st century. So I really think it's more evangelizing to the parents, because children don't have any limitations in them. They don't know any better. They just want to do whatever. They have no sense of limitation. It is the parents, the adults in their lives 
that have those kinds of limitations or they haven't seen those images. Um, the presence of having women of color is so important because I think that it would encourage more um, children, both male and female of children of color, to see someone that looks like them, to see somebody that they can strive to be like because it it helps to have somebody to look up to, to have somebody to say, hey, I can be like that person. Black Girls Code gives girls the opportunity to own their story, to own their brilliance, and then share it with their communities, with their families, and then hopefully with the world if they so decide to take um, a career path in technology. In the future, I hope that there is no need for Black Girls Code because I hope that black girls will be dominating these tech spaces, that there no longer will be a need to create a safe space because we're already there, that enough of us have already showed up that when girls come behind us, they feel comfortable. They see a mirror to themselves and they know that this is something that they can do.